all the doctors kept on saying, telling my family to pull the plug. I'm not gonna lie, I used to do a lot of drugs, any kind I could get my hands on to cope with all my problems. My mom has a lot of mental problems. She was supposed to be the woman I looked up to. She was in turn letting me down. I didn't buy two meth methadone wafers, which are 40 milligrams apiece. Next thing I know, I'm waking up three months later in the hospital. I'm like, where the hell am I? My kidneys got shut down from all the drugs I had ingested. Their doctors were telling my family that if I made it out, I'd be a vegetable and wouldn't have I wouldn't be able to talk. He wanted to die. Some people, the nursing facility is the best placement, you know, but for Jimmy's situation, it was confining him. It, it, to him, it felt like his prison sentence. I heard a lot of people die. It was the worst time of my life. He was just docile, blank stare. He was a sad case. I mean, it's heartbreaking to see somebody that young just laying in a bed, not caring if they live or die. The first time I met him, and, and actually two or three times when I went back, his activity program was sitting in a circle of 80 and 90 year olds playing balloon toss. And I thought, you know what, we can do much better for him. He needs to be with people his own age and be doing age appropriate things. Kathy Blanton was instrumental in getting him changed over to the intellectual developmentally disability waiver so that we could get him services where he's at now. Money Follows the Person is a federal program where we are um, given grant money to help people set up an apartment or move into an assisted living. It's a, a wonderful program that helps people get out of institutions. We're their advocate. You know, we advocate for them to make sure they get the services that they wouldn't know about otherwise. Where he can get day in residential and be around peers of his own age and be in a setting where they're more active and they can go on outings. United Healthcare has a great program where we can find people resources. Every week we meet, he's got a positive attitude. He continues to work hard and try to re rehabilitate to the best he can and he's doing a very good job. Jennifer Pember with United Health is very uh, perceptive and she will always, I can count on her every month to get in touch with me to find out how Jimmy's doing. It's my biggest accomplishment. Like United Healthcare has helped a lot with just Jimmy's over, all, overall care. He's in his 20s. He needs to get on with life. He needs to have experiences that a 20 year old would have. And so that's what we work towards, and that's where he's at now. Well, working for United Healthcare, you are supported in developing relationships with people, and that's what it's all about, is the relationships. The relationships with our providers, the relationships with our members, and really connecting with them. We're all here today to offer Jimmy the opportunity to move. Jimmy will live in a, a smaller setting and have more opportunity and more independence. Um, provided that he's come all this way and so it's just the perfect opportunity for him to move forward and continue to rehabilitate. I, I call it a puzzle piece. You pull your puzzle together until all the pieces fit. Some people it's easier to pull the puzzle pieces together. With Jimmy there was a lot of pieces in the puzzle and so it was like putting it together a thousand piece puzzle instead of a 50 piece puzzle but you, you still pull it all together, you put it together and pretty soon you've got a picture that fits that person. Look at me now, I'm defying the odds. <laughs>